Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3. Now, the legendary Stone Ridge Skate Park was the venue for the BMX Park Lines event where the country's best pro and amateur riders battled it out for their share of the prize purse and to see who will be crowned the event champion. Yeah, bring on. There can only be one winner. Now listen to this. It's a location in Joburg, Tata's, which has been closed since 2016, but was the ideal venue to showcase invited athletes from around South Africa's, well, competing and pro divisions, and also gave up-and-coming riders the opportunity to, of course, showcase their skills. Now, this is something that I absolutely love. Bring on the action, and we did exactly that. Yeah. That's right. So we caught up with the event organizer, Ryan van <laughs> <laughs> and some of the riders themselves to find out how the event went down and what the skateboard of BMX looks like in South Africa. <laughs> Let's check it out. The first Parklands event took last year. This was our second edition and it's already grown leaps and bounds. It's important for us to have an event like this, especially with BMX now and Olympic sports. You know, we need to have this facility, this event, for riders to be able to progress within their sports. And it's important to have these events, not only in Joburg, but around the country. So if we can take park lines to Durban, Cape Town, that, that's important for us and something we are looking into. So yeah, this year's Park Lines BMX tournament was amazing. I mean, so many standout moments for me and us as a crew running the event. I think the biggest thing was how many spectators actually turned up. It was probably the biggest local BMX event in recent history. Uh, we also had over 50 riders competing, which is awesome, through the amateur and pro categories. I think the level of riding was, was amazing. I mean, we had a, a whole stack of pro athletes here. So we had two international riders come out for the Parklands event, Jack Tones from the UK and Greg Ellingworth. Greg Ellingworth, also from the UK, originally a South African rider who moved overseas to pursue his pro career. Um, he actually came out when he heard that we were opening this park. Um, it's his old stomping ground, so he was super excited. Um, I mean, it was great to have them, yeah, but the bonus for them to be here and for the local riders is to see how those riders compete, how they ride. It gives the local guys, you know, uh, a platform to see where they are and how they can progress their skills, you know, and, and they competed well in the pro category. I mean, some of our local guys beat them. So obviously with every contest you come into where you've won the previous year or the previous event, there's always pressure with like defending champ. Um, obviously every news article I was in, every anything online that was written about the event, obviously it came up then the defending champ. So it was a lot of pressure. I usually deal with pressure pretty well, but during finals I was sweating bullets like there's no tomorrow. Every rider was just on form. But at the end of it I was so hyped. I knew it was going to be a pretty easy job to get into finals, but you never know when you might make a mistake and you, there's, there's your finals chant gone. So, got into finals and then I was like, cool, time to make up whatever I can. So I had a pretty good solid safety first run, and then I had a crazy second run. Um, unfortunately, I crashed on the first trick, got up, and then just for the crowd, I knew my run was gone anyway. Let me just redo the run just so that I can say I did the run. Whether I won or not, I knew it was all over. So I got the first trick out, and I was like, cool, run up to, I think, third trick. Uh, it was a 450 tail I came around, broke my nose, all upset, because obviously, like, oh, that was such a good run. I think that would have been, like, a sick one. Came away with second, completely unexpected with the level of riders we had. I mean, we had two international dudes. One of the guys was someone I looked up to riding for, like, my entire life. I mean, Greg is just, he's a god in the South African culture, to me, at least. Um, so I was just hyped to come second and to even come second to Murray who's probably one of the best riders in the country right now, it was just an honour. So the standard of BMX this year was quite impressive. Uh, the competition was something I was looking forward to um, for a long time and this was one of the competitions that I actually quite enjoyed. Um, for a very long time, since the, this park is closed down, there hasn't uh, we haven't had any like insane competitions just like this one. So the standard of BMX, because everyone has worked on their tricks and started learning how to do it better, it was quite amazing. So the, com the competition was quite competitive, and I enjoyed it. And I feel like the reason why I stood out in best trick was because I focused on my style of riding and I looked at how technical and well balanced I am at my style of riding. So I put that into action and that actually made me stand out within, um, you know, everyone else. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy that I actually focus on myself and my style of riding in the moment.
So it's never easy coming back from any injury, but I definitely felt a bit of added uh, pressure being at my local park where I grew up and learnt uh, most of the things that I do, as well as being at a contest where you're expected to do well. But I think that I definitely put a lot more pressure on myself more than anything, so it was a mental as well as a physical battle that I had with myself. But I think all considered, it's been an absolute treat being back at this park after five and a half years of the place being closed. And as much as the result that I got wasn't what I was going for, all considered, I couldn't be happier. And as far as next year's events, I'm just going to work really hard over the next year and come back all guns blazing. You know, BMX as a sport in South Africa is growing. It is going to grow a lot more now because last year it debuted in the Olympics. So for us to do an event like this is super important for the sport, um, you know, to get athletes into it, athletes involved, um, up and coming athletes, um, you know, get them to get get better within their sports um, and get to a place where they can possibly qualify for Olympics one day. The event itself is also important in that, in that aspect. I mean, if without events like this, there's nothing for the riders to you know, compete in, to showcase their skills and to ultimately progress. So to have more BMX events around the country and for us to bring park lines to, to the BMX riders is super important, especially in, in today's age, and to get it to a place where it can possibly become an Olympic qualifier event. Oh, that looks amazing. I feel like I need to justify why I giggled before we went into that insert. Ralph said tatas. I was supposed to say that has. Tatas. I said tatas. That's what we do on live TV and that's the magic of it. Well, while we cry out here with laughter, here's another war cry that you guys can enjoy in the meantime. Enjoy those tatas.